Let's go ahead and test drive a download report feature. We already have a reports controller test, so let's open that and add a new test below. Download report. For this test to work, we need an authenticated user, an existing report with an existing file on disk, and then we need to make a request and assert that the correct file was returned. To authenticate a user, we need to create it first, and we can use the user factory. And then to sign it in, we can call this acting as and pass the user. So now we have an authenticated user. The next step is to have a report with a file on disk. So let's create it. Report equals report create. We'll give it a name and a path. For this to work, we need a path to a real file. We can create one using the file class. Make sure it is the one under Illuminate HTTP testing though. Create. Then we pass the file name and the size in kilobytes. Now to save it on disk, we can call the store method, pass in the directory and the disk. And this will return the file path. The next step is to make a request that will return the file associated with this report. And we can do this, get, it will be a get request, to a route, let's say, reports.show. And we'll need to pass in the report ID as a parameter. Finally, we can assert that the response has a successful status code. And for the hardest part, we need to assert that the downloaded file matches the one we have here. But in order to do that, we'll need to swap the current file system with a fake one. And we can use the storage facade for that. Storage, fake, and then pass in the disk. Another thing that we need is to store the file in a variable so we can compare it with what we get back. Now, for the final assertion, we can say storage should receive disk with local and return an instance of storage and we can grab this from here so storage equals storage fake local and then we can continue with should receive download with the report path and return or file. This whole thing basically translates to storage, disk, local, download, report, file. So this right here matches this sequence. So we have the storage that receives disk with the local as argument. This will return an instance of storage and then we'll call download with the report path and receive our file back. Let's remove this whole thing and run the test. Of course it will fail because there is no reports.show route, so let's add it. Route get reports slash report as a parameter reports controller calling the show action and name it reports.show. Now let's open the controller and add the show action, public function show, and we should receive the report via route model binding. And here we need to return storage disk local download report path. And if we rerun the test, it should all pass. And it does. 
Let's go over the test one more time. So we swap the file system with a fake disk. We authenticate a user. We then prepare a report with an existing file. Make a request to the server and assert that the request was successful. And then we assert that the correct file was returned. And that's it. That's how you can test file downloads in Laravel applications. Don't forget to like, subscribe and click the bell button. Bye!